So I've been getting a lot of requests for how to play Whiskey Before Breakfast on the Merlin. Um, so I'm going to do a little breakdown of it for you and hopefully that helps. Um, to those asking about tabs, I'm sorry, I don't do tabs, I don't have them, and I don't really feel like writing them. I learned this song by ear anyway, just listening to some recordings of my friend playing this song. Um, and I kind of do the version a little bit differently, and what I've discovered is that pretty much everybody does this song a little differently. So this is kind of my version of it, which is loosely based on my friend's version of it, who she learned from someone else, and blah 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 blah. So, let's get started. I'm just going to start something, you know, I'll just, I'll just start it off slow, the first section, and then try to break it down. So, first section, try to get close enough here. Slowly is like this. It's just open strings. <laughs> Already messed it up. So, repeat it again for the first section. So it's just... You're just going from this uh, open string to the second fret to fourth and hitting that octave on the open A string. But I'm kind of kind of raking. So I'm kind of hitting all the strings really. And then it's... <laughs> Start that off with just to third fret, to second, to open. So it's kind of all one lick. See, because the way I heard it was. And then it, it just kind of went into the next phrase, but I had this little step up, so. So when it goes to the open, it's just going one, two, and then you hit two again and hammer on to three. And hit, hitting, uh, also after that you put your index on the first fret of the A string. So that's just this. Just like that. So there's just, there's that part as well which just turns it around. Which is just three, two, one, zero. And then you just start the pattern over again. That's uh, pretty much it for the first part. Um, after you do that, you end up going to, which is hitting all the all the open strings, but you're 
starting off with your finger on the second fret and then sliding up to the third. Kind of like a banjo thing. Third fret there. So let's do one more time. First fret D string, first fret high D string, open A. So, <clears throat> I'll do that once again. <laughs> so you're starting there. So as you can probably tell, there's a lot of parts that are actually the same. They're just sort of rearranged. They kind of turn around into the next part and so on and so on. So once more, I'll just do that this section again. And that's pretty much it. Then it just kind of, you do that twice and then it goes back into the first part. But the second time around, I add a couple of embellishments. So I'll go over those embellishments. They're really easy. So the first one, it goes in the first section. So this is that part. Um, So it's just hitting three, three to open, two to open, one to open. Second fret on the D string to uh, second then then the open D. So that's pretty much it for that embellishment. The other embellishment that I do is right at the end. Um, so it's uh, when you're going to this part here with these. Uh, instead of going, I'm going. So it's just three, two, one, zero. Same sort of thing with the, the earlier embellishment. I'm just going two open, one open. That's pretty much it. Um, there's not much else other than try to make the strings ring out as much as you can um, while trying to maintain an emphasis on the melody line because the melody line is often on these low strings and you're having these higher strings ringing out. Sometimes they can overpower. 
So the key is to try and make sure that you're actually attacking the notes that you want to hit a little harder than the open strings. You just kind of want to be raking them in the background. And I mean, even then, it's not exactly perfect. Um, but, you know, it, it's something to keep in mind, something I'm still trying to work on. So um, hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, um, I'll try to make a better video. A better video. Um, if not, just maybe even try to slow this video down. Just go to the little uh, the gear that's on the the YouTube uh, playback bar. Go to the settings. Go to speed, and slow it down. Um, hopefully, you can see where everything is, and it really is just practice, and. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll get you on the next video.